It is not easy for us to deal with the loss of a man of such high caliber and virtue. One by one, we are losing the heroes and heroines of our liberation struggle to death, and it is taking a heavy toll on our spirits. For this reason, our coming together today is an important occasion where we unite in the spirit of peace and understanding in order to console one another as we try to cope with the overwhelming grief we feel. The former army chief died at the age of 71 at the Ongwediva Medipark Hospital following the post-operation complications caused by a brain surgery. President Gainkop says the late Nambundunga's reputation preceded him as he performed every task assigned to, to him with children. distinction yes, pre- and post-independence. Comrade Nambundunga was definitely a man who lived an enviable life of character and virtue. Despite all his remarkable achievements over the course of his life, despite all his victories, successes, and ex extraordinary feats, he remained humble and was never aloof or condescending. This is the caliber of a true soldier who placed the lives of his brothers and sisters above his own. The late Nambundunga's work can also spin across the Sadek region when he served as deputy commander of the region's allied forces in the Democratic Republic of Congo from 1999 to 2000. He also participated and represented Namibia Joint Verification Committee, which oversaw the peace process in that country. Founding President Sam Nuyoma, family members and comrades all recounted Nambudunga's contribution to Namibia's quest for freedom. His great bravery and outstanding leadership has earned him respect and recognition from the senior commanders of Plan, Swapo's leadership, as well as his fellow combatants. Indeed, he was one of the outstanding military strategists and a member of Plan's military council, which I had the privilege to chair as commanding chief of the People's Liberation of Namibia, Swapo City Military Wing. As chief of logistics, he made sure that essential supplies reached every single member of plan, regardless of where, or where he or she is deployed. And this line of supplies stretched all the way from ports of Lobito, Namibe, Luanda, to Kavango, and Hibion, the hard up region. It was an easy task. I let my beloved husband to go well. Go well, my friend. Go well, my companion. Go well, comrade. Go well, my love. May his soul rest peacefully. Nambundunga, survived by his wife, ten children, and three sisters, will be buried at Omugulu Wombashe Memorial Shrine tomorrow.